Amir Khan fought in a bladed stance, making his body half the target to his opponent. His lead hand left out for quick jabs in range and also for defensive purposes such as framing and turning his opponents. His feet placement also complemented his fighting style as he liked to box from the outside and at times blitz him with combinations and quickly get out before his opponents could react or even make a move. Here we have Khan playing the aggressor from the outside, fighting against the monster counterpuncher. The name of the game is quite simple. Can Khan get his attacks in and get out before Canelo is able to act? Khan is using lateral movement to keep Canelo from setting his feet. Then he stops in with his jab to use as a measuring stick. Now that Khan has found his range, he knows exactly how far he needs to step in, in which Canelo's speed completely caught Canelo by surprise. The left hook caught Canelo pulling back and the cross landed before Canelo could even see and he still had enough time to step back to stay out of range. In this next sequence, Khan wants to remain disciplined on the outside. He leaves his lead hand out as a stiff arm to deter Canelo from a direct route in. Khan is pawning his jab as a threat and when Canelo is ready to launch his lead left hook, he is just too far back as Khan is able to lean back and Canelo misses him completely. Now a frustrated Canelo is blindly following Khan and doesn't even realize that he's in punching range. And again, Khan is able to land a quick hook cross, which forces Canelo back and still gives Khan sufficient space to box from the outside. There's a few elements that make Khan's in and out offense effective. First the range is established through the jab when the jab starts to land, now the lead hand is a threat to his opponent. This allows Khan to control the tempo, which now gives him control of the pockets in which he chooses to attack in. Khan has thunderous speed, as he is able to throw three, four, and sometimes even five punch combinations. And while the whole time his opponent is busy covering up, he has ample time to back out, get out of range, rinse and repeat again. Maidana knows that if he doesn't get his offense going, Khan will easily just pick his spots from the outside. Maidana's solution was to bum rush Khan. The problem with this though was that Khan has quick feet and he's good with lateral movement. Maidana is blindly following Khan. He is easily in punching range for Khan to react, leaving Maidana reaching in only to be countered by Khan's rear uppercut. This leaves Maidana completely out of range as he makes another mistake as he tries to cover ground by bum rushing Khan once again just to run right into another hook cross. Khan again wastes no time re-establishing his jab, this time with the triple jab to keep Maidana off balance to land a right hand. Now with the temple control, Khan again picks a spot to jump in, this time to use the lead hand to control Maidana's head to land the right cross. The thing about being able to throw combinations is that if you do it efficiently, your opponent's guard for one will always be occupied and for two, your punches by theory should be able to create some openings. And with every entry comes an escape plane. Coming into this fight, Freddie Roach said, Amir has fought 51 rounds for me and I think he's won them all. In the eyes of judges, incidentally, oh, he's won at least 40 oh, And down goes Madonna. Oh. See, Ramirez Cub punching to the head. He throws two wicked body shots to the body. Very wicked body shots. The left one landed right on the liver, and that hurt him really, really bad. 